Hi, my name is Ilma and today I'd like to share John 20, 24 to 29, 24 through 31. But Thomas, one of the twelve called Didymus, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples were saying to him, We have seen the Lord, but he said to them, Unless I see in his hands the imprint of the nails and put my finger into the place of the nails and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. After eight days, his, his disciples were again inside and Thomas with them. Jesus came, the doors having been shut, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Reach here with your finger and see my hands, and reach here your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believing. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Because you have seen me, have you believed? Blessed are they who did not see and yet believed. Therefore, many other signs Jesus also performed in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book. But these have been written so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing you may have life in his name. Here's my devotional. Believe in Christ so you may have life. This is the story of the disciple of Jesus named Thomas who didn't believe that his master has resurrected until he saw with his very own eyes the imprint of the nails in his hands. Because Thomas wasn't around when Jesus first showed himself to his disciples after his resurrection, he didn't believe Jesus came back from the dead. It was over a week when Jesus came again and Thomas was among the disciples that time. Jesus approached Thomas right away and placed his hands on his sides. Then Thomas finally believed. Aren't we so much like Thomas? We don't believe until we see. Hebrews 11.1 1 says that faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. So Thomas had unbelief. Faith is trusting what is true even if there is no evidence. We are fallen people and we have very limited minds. When we don't actually see proof of something, we won't be convinced to have faith in that thing or person. In this account, Jesus teaches us the true meaning of believing. That it is trusting Him despite the absence of a sign. We don't always have to be convinced of something or someone before we make a decision to put our trust on it. Faith is putting trust first without knowing the outcome. It is the hope that what you expect is going to happen. Reflection. Why do you think people focus so much on the validity of something or someone? I think it is human nature that we are uh, mistrusting. Uh, we don't easily trust because I think that is the aftermath of the 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 original sin of Adam and Eve, that um, when the serpent tried to convince them that you shouldn't trust what God said, that uh, don't take that tree because the enemy always wants to uh, question our identity in Christ. So when um, when we sinned through Adam and Eve, because they first um, rebelled against God, then a lot of things that are there around us becomes questionable because now we're deceived. When Once we are deceived once, we become suspicious. We become, um, we, we question things that, that um, happens in our lives. So, even when you go shopping, you know, um, when you go out, there's a person who validates uh, things that you have bought to make sure that um, you don't get something that isn't supposed to be in the list that you, that you present to them. So, uh, in a way, that is uh, uh, a form of making sure 
that you're not taking anything that is not yours. In other words, there's a form of a mistrust in there. So when you do not trust something, you don't have peace. So here, Christ brings peace to his disciples. And um, when you don't trust something, you fear. You fear of uh, an outcome. You fear that you don't get what you thought you should get or you fear something else. So believing, as in Hebrew says, is even though you don't see anything, you still believe. That is a decision that you make. Trust is a decision you make. You trust someone, whether they are going to do it or not, or whether they are um, stable or not, whether they are secure or not, you still trust them. So it is a leap of faith. It's an action that makes you decide that you're going to choose to trust and to believe. So I encourage you that you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ because when you do, you will have life. There will be no death, there, there, there will be no um, confusion, no chaos because you, then you trust the right thing. So uh, the problem with the world is that we trust in the wrong things. We believe in lies instead of believing in truth. So once you know the truth, it will set you free. If you don't know the truth, you will be in bondage to lies. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks and photographs. I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I can make more videos for the Lord. Thanks for watching. God loves you so much and so do I.